Hey there, here's a quick tutorial on setting up a quiz with uh, Google Forms. So if I click New in my Google and scroll down and hit More, Google Forms, I do tests as well this way. Quick tip, it's always defaulting to purple. Click the color palette and change the theme color or background um, to something bright. This way, if you're looking around and seeing all these screens, you're always, your brain is trained to see these different, you usually see white on the back of a computer. Now you're only looking for this orange color. If it's not on orange, maybe the, the student's playing around on some other website they shouldn't be on. Um, while we're talking about integrity, uh, I copy and paste as my first um, question, this. And this will ensure that the students basically buy in and you, I mean, not always, of course, but hopefully they're buying in and you also give them the incentive saying you, by doing this and by being academically honest, you're saving this many pieces of paper today. Um, I'm at almost 2,000 pieces of paper and my students are really enjoying it, doing it this way, their tests. Um, and they get the credit for saving that much paper. It's pretty cool. Now, response, uh, sorry, back up here to the cog. We have to set this up as a quiz. So I click quiz make it a quiz. That enables me to have uh, feedback and point values for the questions. I generally tick later after manual, re manual review will I send their answers back to them. Um, general, uh, this is the setup I like to use. Feel free to follow this if you like. One response per student. You can set it up differently if it, however it fits for you, but so far these settings work well for me. Now, so I'm jumping around a little bit, but I hope so far so good. I want to require them to write their name. I'm going to pop down here. This is an interesting one. I type password here. Another tip I got from someone online. Thank you. Um, these three dots, click that. Response validation. This will allow you to set up a password. I generally use text passwords. And let's say my password is hello. Um, if they get the password wrong, they need to get a message. Otherwise, if you forget that right here, their default is getting in automatically and we don't want that. Now, let me click this and I'll explain why we have a password. This will set up a new section. Now, having a new section is where the test is going to be. This is where the questions are going to be. If you don't have the password, you can't move from this section to the test. Why is that important? If I have three kids absent that day and they come into class, my students, and I say the password for this test is hello, you made it again. And they type the password and they go. The kids at home don't get that password so they can't secretively do it at home. Um, if I have two tests, one class right after another, the first class comes in, does the test, I can come back and reset this password for the second class. So it's a pretty nice way to go. And this is about where I'll stop um, this is getting into building the test. I'll set up another video on that. Um, really nice features in here. You can cut and paste screenshot questions in and add the screenshots here. Um, answer feedback, changing the value of each question, um, and providing direct feedback. I, I use uh, IBDP questions, so I use a lot of their mark schemes, exactly how they are, expect their answers. It's good for students to get practice seeing that. So I'll cut and paste the, that feedback in here. So when a student takes the test, every single question will have that feedback. And I can customize it as I'm grading the test, of course. So really nice features here in setting up the test. I'll also make a video in uh, building the actual test itself. So for now, I'll stop with that. Okay, hope that helps.